I'm Steve Leach, and I'm a professor of molecular and systems biology here at Dartmouth and director of Dartmouth's Norris Cotton Cancer Center. And I came to Dartmouth for one simple reason. Our cancer center is literally integrated across every nook and cranny of a world-class liberal arts college, a school of medicine, a school of engineering, a business school, a graduate school, and an academic medical center. And it's this integration, it's these interactions that allow us to do two things in the world better than anyone. Most people have heard of precision medicine. What we're talking here is precision prevention. Some of this technology is fancy, like sequencing entire genomes and gut microbiomes. But some of it is as simple as a silicone bracelet currently being worn by 2,000 pregnant women, collecting data to be analyzed at Dartmouth and cataloging their cumulative exposure to cancer-causing chemicals. We're not just talking about preventing cancer generations from now. Jim Sargent's research on e-cigarettes has provided the scientific underpinnings for new FDA regulations saying it's not okay to market bubblegum flavored e-cigarettes to adolescents. And Margaret Carragas's pioneering work linking in utero arsenic exposures to subsequent bladder cancer risk has led to new FDA regulations limiting arsenic levels in infant rice cereal. The second thing that we do better than anyone is that we create new cancer cures and we bring them to the world quickly through cancer center entrepreneurship. Here's an example, our groundbreaking work in immuno-oncology. Our cancer center was the birthplace of the first immune checkpoint inhibitors. These drugs take the brakes off the immune system and allow it to recognize, treat, and cure a cancer just as it would an infection. And because the immune system has a memory, this is the path towards lifetime cure. But the truth is only about a third of patients respond to these and other immune checkpoint drugs, meaning that we have much more work to do. Randy Noel and other immunologists in our center have therefore developed the next generation immune checkpoint inhibitor, accelerated by a biotech company housed within our center. And Charles Sentman and colleagues in our cancer center have developed and licensed revolutionary new technology to take the power of cancer-curing CAR T cells and extend them from their current limited use in a relatively small number of patients to become truly universal off-the-shelf therapies for all cancer patients. So that when our family members and neighbors with breast cancer and colon cancer and pancreatic cancer are diagnosed, they too will have access to this life-saving cancer immunotherapy. And we've launched another new biotech startup to accelerate the delivery of this Dartmouth discovery to the world. Now, I'd acknowledge that in terms of entrepreneurship, we're not Cambridge or Palo Alto, but we don't need to be because we have something that other institutions lack. That's why, based on the number of biotech startups that had emanated from our cancer center, the National Cancer Institute invited themselves to come visit us to find out what was in the Dartmouth secret sauce for entrepreneurship. And what they saw was deep integration between our cancer center, Dartmouth Hitchcock, the Geisel School of Medicine, Thayer School of Engineering and Tuck School of Business. And it was this interaction that they recognized created a naturally entrepreneurial ecosystem, one that drives innovation. We already have amazing world-class talent working in these areas, but there's still so much more that we can do. That's why we need the help of the entire Dartmouth alumni community, our grateful patients and families, and the incredibly supportive communities in the Upper Valley and Northern New England, so that we can continue to provide the very best in compassionate cancer care for our neighbors, while also creating important new knowledge for the world.